I'm sorry if anyone takes this offen like offensive or anything like that. That's not my, my intention. I'm just trying to help people out, man, because I probably would have done this if I knew back then what I know now. So, anyways, just a little disclaimer out there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I want to share with you guys a few tips and tricks of what you can do to have an affordable wedding. So, obviously I got married three years ago and for me I don't know about you guys but I was really broke but I really wanted to get married so we got married and we spent around ten dollars on our wedding which is a lot of money for someone that's broke so if I knew what I know now we probably could have done other stuff with the money that we spent and if you guys haven't seen my video of my wedding I'll put the link down below so you guys can check that out the first thing you want to do for your wedding dress to find your perfect wedding dress is to go on Amazon or go on Etsy and just type in white dress or ivory dress and white and ivory almost the same thing you can't really tell especially not in pictures um, I bought an ivory dress and it basically looked white I will show the pictures now see it looks basically white you can't even tell so I guess it depends on how much ivory it is because some do look more of a cream color and then some of them look just like white you know you can't even tell the difference so I would suggest go on Amazon or go on Etsy either one it's perfectly fine um just go it depends on what kind of style of dress you're looking for it, it might take a few days for you to like come up with the dress that you really like so just continue searching on Amazon. You will see different lengths, different sleeves, different styles. Um, some will vary. My range for my dress that I was willing to pay the most, I think was like 300 was max. Like no more than 300. That's all I was gonna pay for my dress. And I think the dress I bought was like 200. It was between 150 and 300. I will put the exact price right there. So that's how much my dress cost and I liked it it was poofy enough but not too poofy it was long sleeve it was lace and it was very um it had a very um what is it low cut so I ended up buying a lace bandeau to put underneath because I needed to cover up I couldn't show so much cleavage um I am Christian and hello Christian at church not good day. so there's that option for you for your dress moving on so wedding rings so for us actually this month is our anniversary so we decided to upgrade our rings especially because my husband works in construction and his ring is really dirty and messed up and he didn't really like it because it was plain so i was like well my bad i didn't know you wanted some bling bling on your ring so hey that rhymed um so <laughs> So I ended up looking for some rings for him as well and when we got it, it's actually a lot heavier than the one he had now and it has rings, um, it has rings, it has diamonds around and he really likes it. It feels good quality. It came in a little box and everything. I will put it down in the description box if you guys are interested in looking at those. They have so many options on Amazon. I suggest you guys go check them out. For the guys, there's more than just like a plain silver ring. Like there's ones with diamonds, there's ones with like little patterns, there's black ones, blue ones, the whole thing. So if you're interested in upgrading your rings or you're planning on getting married, check those out. I upgraded the, the engagement ring and the wedding band. The wedding band, I feel like it is a little bit more cheap. The wedding band was like 14 something and then my engagement one was $50. So in total I spent like... Like $65 in this set and so I don't know I'm not sure about the wedding band I did order a different one which I think I'm gonna like a little bit better and I'll just switch this one to this hand um, but we'll see I'll keep you guys updated so originally I will show you guys my rings um, we bought them from K jeweler K jewelry or K jewelers okay so i bought them from there um from our wedding that was three years ago this month is our anniversary we are officially three years married to each other and so i really wanted a heart shaped ring and so he got me one and it is in a heart shape but i already lost like two diamonds in that ring i don't take them off at all so 
basically I wear them when I cook, when I clean, when I do all sorts of things with my baby. Like everything, I, I've been wearing them. I don't take them off because I'm scared that I'm if I take them off, I forget to put them back on. In the beginning, I tried that but in, and I forgot them. So my heart would sink and I'm like, oh my gosh, I lost them. I don't know where I put them. So I stopped putting them I mean taking them off and I just would wear them when I take a shower, when I took a bath, when I did a bunch of things, wash dishes and sometimes put like lotion and I was like oh man they're getting like all icky and so I would clean them and stuff but I have no idea when I lost those two diamonds. First it was one and then I noticed and I'm like oh my gosh it's gone. I'm like okay well whatever it's just one and then I lost another one and then I was just like okay now I don't want to lose all the diamonds on the rings so what I did was I was like I'm gonna I'm just gonna take it off I'm gonna look for new rings because I wanted to update them anyways so that's what we did on my engagement ring I can feel now the where they did the cut to make it smaller to my size so I didn't I wasn't able to feel that I, I'm guessing it worn out and it also started to kind of like bend a little or like it wasn't a perfect circle anymore it had like a little you know these are the new rings that I got. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I will show you guys a close-up. But this is how my ring looks. My new one. I love it. It's a heart shape. Can you see? Yes, I think so. It was actually $50 and it's pretty good quality. It's not plastic. Um, and it's really pretty and shiny. Um, and then I also got the, what's it called? So you have your dress and you have your wedding ring. So far it's under a thousand dollars if you're sticking to like a $300 dress max and then your rings like, I don't know, like 100, 200. Let's just say you went for the more expensive 200. So that's still like we're at what, $500? That's less than a thousand dollars and you already have the most important part, your dress and your rings cakes you guys let's talk about your cakes i know a lot of people for their weddings want a really tall and elegant um cake but that's a lot of cake and i don't know if they ever finish it like does anyone ever finish those giant cakes so my suggestion would be that it would be a lot more cheaper because cakes can be pretty expensive i think we paid Ooh, i don't remember how much we paid for a cake but it was expensive and it wasn't even um that big it was like i think three tiers um, again, everything, my wedding's going to be um, linked down below so you guys can see everything that went on on that day. My cake, my dress, my husband's suit, everything. Um, my husband's suit, by the way, we got it at Zara and it was a lot more cheap. Th well, it wasn't as cheap, but I mean, he can wear it all over again instead of renting your tux. But if you want to rent your tux, you can also do that for the men. Back to the cake. So, um... You can make the cake. There's YouTube videos. I will link um, some down below. But you can actually make your cake bake. So they're like those styrofoam type of thing. And then they you can make it however you want. Design it however. They look like real cakes, you guys. And if you're, if you're just looking to have it for the pictures, you can make... Either you can make them or someone you know that's very crafty or even pay for them. It's a lot cheaper to have those fake cakes for display. And maybe just have one tier real the one that you're gonna cut and like eat but then besides that usually for your weddings you probably have a dessert table anyways you got plenty of sugar there um maybe you want to give cupcakes or something a few cupcakes here and there but the majority don't eat the cake at least i don't think so and if that's your case you can do that just just get an, uh, a fake cake and put it like bam you know now for your honeymoon if you guys are really looking into going somewhere nice but you don't want to spend so much money I suggest going on Airbnb because hello everyone does it now and it is a lot more affordable especially if you're going to other places that aren't as expensive so you can go to El Salvador you can go to Buenos Aires you can go to a bunch of other places that aren't as common and you can just um, what's it called buy the plane ticket and they would be cheaper and airbnbs over there are also very cheap and affordable so i would suggest looking into that if you want to have a a getaway but obviously you don't have thousands of dollars to spend on an actual like luxurious um honeymoon so you guys can probably save for save for that later 
but for now you know and then you can also even um get an airbnb for in the area that you live so for example i live in la so i will probably look for an airbnb somewhere near um long beach or santa monica somewhere like more i guess a beach just to have a different scenery but i'm still technically home so there's that option that's a lot more affordable shoes and accessories um for your wedding day again amazon has everything you guys you guys can just wear your um beautiful shoes find them on amazon your accessories there's a bunch of accessories that are cheap and they look so beautiful and they're good quality you just you just gotta re um read the reviews and see how many stars they have so that's basically it if you're looking into um having a wedding but you really don't have the money to spend hopefully these tips can help you guys if you're interested in me ha doing a part two i could do a part two and give you more tips and tricks so for now i have to go um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye